Southern California agencies are stepping up to help. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live at the Red Cross headquarters in downtown LA with details on their operation and the call for more volunteers to deploy as soon as next week. Lauren. Kathy, that's right. We're in the operations center right now, and I want to show you an interactive map. You see here, this is actually the path of the storm. You can see where the storm is hitting right now. And take a look at all of these blue S's. These are all shelters from the American Red Cross, and the Los Angeles-based volunteers are really centralized to this area right now. And like you said, while they have more than a dozen volunteers right now on the ground, they need more. The scope and scale is probably one of the largest response operations we've had in recent memory. Joanne Nowlin is the CEO of the American Red Cross LA region. She says 21 LA based volunteers are in Florida right now. This is a photo of some who arrived before Hurricane Ian made landfall. It is now projected to become another hurricane as a category one making landfall again. How many shelters do you have? Right now we have 283 shelters. The storm destroying everything in its path, leaving communities flattened. Volunteers offering medical help, food, clothes, and a safe place to sleep. Their work just getting started. We're able now to continue to fly volunteers into Orlando, into Miami. I got the call, uh, I got the message, are you available? I looked at the can calendar, I said, yeah, absolutely. Um, at the moment, I'm packing. Nat Guro is on standby, ready to join the rest of his team in Florida at any moment. I expect to be part of the group that goes out to the community, to the affected communities to uh, assess the damage, to get a good feel for what happens and document everything so that our Red Cross recovery teams can start the process of uh, working with our clients to make sure that they uh, get a good start on their next steps on their recovery. A long road to recovery, which is why the Red Cross is hosting a training this weekend to get more volunteers deployed as early as next week. Flight, meals, and accommodations paid for. And then as soon as you're ready, if you finish that, that basic training, we will put you on the next plane. And Kathy, it's important to note, if you do want to be deployed and help out in Florida, you do have to commit two weeks to the operation. Here are some items that a lot of the volunteers bring with them. They have flashlights, sunglasses, face masks, even COVID tests. Something else that's very important is going to be a battery pack because they just don't know what kind of situation they're dealing with when it comes to power. Lots of chargers too, hand sanitizer. If you can't do two weeks, they're saying, hey, you should still come by and learn more about volunteering because since they have so many of their volunteers in Florida right now, they really need people to help fill the gaps. If you want to help, we have a link on our website, NBCLA.com. You're just going to want to search Help Hurricane Victims. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Lauren Coronado, NBC4 News.